Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Ishmael's Hand in the Slave Trade by sourcewikipedia.org. And this article is entitled Arab Slave Trade. Now, according to biblical doctrine, you so-called Arabians slash Arabs are Ishmaelites. The Arab slave trade is the intersection, meaning crossing, of slavery and trade surrounding the Arab world and Indian Ocean, mainly in Western and Central Asia, Northern and Eastern Africa, India, and Europe. This barter occurred chiefly between the medieval era, medieval, referring to the Dark Ages, because after our downfall during the Dark Ages, what happened? Hence, the Renaissance, the rebirth of the Edomite Empire, or so-called white people. And guess what? These other nations are joint heirs within Esau's blessing. In the early 20th century, the trade was conducted through slave markets in these areas, with the slaves captured mostly from Africa's interior. Southern and Eastern Europe, the Caucasus, and Central Asia there is some contention among scholars over whether it is appropriate to call the slave trade as the Arab slave trade or Islamic slave trade. Historians that are against both nomenclature, meaning what, to name call, argue that the names imply that slavery and slave trading within these societies were an intrinsic part of Arab culture or Islam. Instead, they argue the patterns of slaving had more to do with economics. Now, when you go into economics, it means what? To make money. All right. How did these so-called Arabians get a great head start? By selling Israelites. On the right, you have Ishmael. And on the left, on his knees, you have an Israelite man. Holy scriptures document these historic events. They tend to prefer to name it after a general region or some geographic area in which the slave trading was happening, such as the Trans-Saharan slave trade or the Indian Ocean slave trade. Joel 3 and 4, yea, and what have you to do with me, O Tari and Zidon? Right, because initially these habitations, okay, um, housed Hamites, but over a process of time, the Most High got those Hamites out of those areas. And guess what? These so-called Arabs or Arabians started dwelling in Tari and Zidon, who are actually Ishmaelites, and all the coasts of Palestine. Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? All right.
these Ishmaelites had their hand in a slave trade as well. They profited as well. And according to this article, okay, we were a part of their economics. They profited off of our nation through the process of trading us. Okay. Their hand in slavery. All right, now this is actually this chapter is going into how how our forefathers sold Joseph into slavery. Okay. And Joseph of course was our forefather as well. And it states Genesis thirty seven and twenty three. Let's start at Genesis 37 and 19. And it said one to another, Behold, this dreamer cometh, referring to who? Joseph. Verse 20, Come now therefore and let us slay him and cast him into some pit. And we will say some evil beasts have devoured him and we shall see what will become of his dreams. Verse 21, And Reuben heard it and he delivered him out of their hands and said, Let us not kill him. And Reuben said unto them, Shed no blood, but cast him into this pit that is in the wilderness, and lay no hand upon him, that he might rid him out of their hands to deliver him to his father again. And it came to pass when Joseph was come unto his brethren, that they stripped Joseph out of his coat, his coat of many colors that was on him. And they took him and cast him into a pit, and the pit was empty. There was no water in it. And they sat down to eat bread, and they lifted up their eyes and looked, and behold, a company of Ishmaelites came from Gilead with their camels, bearing spicery and balm and myrrh, going to carry it down to Egypt. These fucking Ishmaelites, so-called Arabians or Arabs, all right? And Judah said unto his brethren, What profit is it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood? Come and let us sell him to the Ishmaelites. See, Ishmael been making profit off of us. So like Ishmael has been making profit off of us. Come and let us sell him to the Ishmaelites and let not our hand be on him for he is our brother and our flesh and his brethren were content then then there passed by Midianites merchantmen and they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver and they brought Joseph into Egypt Okay, nothing is new under the sun. Otari and Zidon. Okay, your hand, okay, is in the slave trade as well. You made profit. All right, not only did you make profit off of um, the resources from your land, but we were your economics as well.
Revelation 11 and 10. And they that dwell on the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another. And guess what? We were the gifts through the process of slavery because these two prophets referring to the northern and southern kingdoms tormented them that dwelt on the earth. So all these nations, okay, have profit off of enslaving us. Lord will you edify Shalom.